<laughs> yeah, welcome, guys. Um, this is very emotional. It's very um, heart trenching. I'm going to break it in pidgin English so that we can digest it properly. Yeah, this reminds your boy Joe Morgano. And this is still your one day off program, episode 20. In that sense, we don't go so much more. <laughs> welcome to our paradise. As usual, behind the camera is PMTV. You know, so they work out together like twins. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, this is Aston King. This is uh, Chukweku. Chukweku, yeah. That's Chukweku. And this is Joy. In my last um, episode 18 of my one day of where I and my friends came together to see how we can empower uh, young boys and girls that seem not to be in school and are willing to do something for themselves in the form of uh, skill acquisition. When we do that program, as God would have it, uh, a lot of people applied for it, and um, about 22 persons now we select out of almost 500 persons. And um, Chukweku, the young boy sitting down here, was lucky to be one of the beneficiaries of uh, the skill acquisition, where he's learning how to do tiling, you know. This is Joy Chukweku's younger sister, same parents, you know. This is Pastor Nkim. Pastor Nkim is the guardian. So, in the course of running that episode 18, eh, I, I travel around all the communities in my environment where I went to Munede, where they stay, and I met Pastor Nkim and uh, uh, Chukweku and the younger sister, Joy. I wanted to share their story with you so that you can help me as usual, like you've always been helping me to support Pastor Kim, who is their guardian, so that they can take care of these two wonderful children. First, Pastor Kim, you're going to tell us how these two children came to be under your care okay. and what happened that made somebody brought them to your church. Thank you very much. So hold this hand. My name is uh, Pastor Kim Ogo. I'm the Senior Pastor of Grace Restoration and Fire Ministry at Monede. Okay, good. So, yeah. So tell us how you tell me these two. Yes, I met them through one of my pastor in the church. So he told me that uh, things is not going well for them, that I should please, I should be involved to help them. So when I saw them, I said, okay, bring them to my house. And when they brought them to my house, I discovered that things was really bad for them. So every time Joy himself will be telling me that she's sick, I'll be buying drugs, even taking her to the hospital all the time, even we prayed. But we discovered that if we buy her drugs today, the next two days she will go down feeling cold. And uh, so one day when my wife gave birth, my mother-in-law came to the house and everyone was in the house. Then we discovered that... Um, Joy could not go to church or Sunday of it. My wife asked her, said, Joy, what is the problem? You could not go to church. Because my wife was in Omogwa. Joy said she's not feeling fine. My wife now asked her, is anybody lying with you? So she could not understand the meaning of lying with you. So my, my wife now said, is anybody making love or sleeping with you? That's or, this Joy, right? Yeah, that is a Joy. How old is she? Yeah, she's 13 years. How old was she then? Yeah, she was 10 years when his father was making love to her. Oh, her father now? Yes, her father. Okay, same yeah. father with... Uh, yeah, same Chukweku. father with Chukweku. Then they were living with the father? Yeah, they were, they were living with the father. Okay. When my wife heard that, my wife was my wife could not believe that. And my wife said, ah, send me the truth. Is your father... He said, your father is what? Sleeping with you. So my wife just to calm down and wait for me to come back from church. Okay. So when I came back from church, my wife told me, this is what Joy told, you. Joy told me. So I called the police for the father and arrested the father. Okay. There was a nurse that do come around. We called the nurse to come to our house to check up on Joy. Mm. So we discovered that she's infected with HIV. Oh, right now she's HIV she's positive. HIV positive. Okay. And she have HIV with different kind of uh, infection mm. in her. The thing, to, the thing was stopping her growth. Now his father was making love to her when she was ten years, and now she's thirteen years. Three years, the father was making love, sleeping with her. With nobody. Where, where is their mother? Their mom is Nate. Okay. Yes. So that was how I 
took I started taking care of them, trying my best in order to make sure that she can survive from it. Okay, what what about the medications? Are you is there any medications that she's into right now? Yes, we are buying buying yeah, went to the hospital. They gave us some drugs for the HIV. Mm. So, you know, before she was she was <laughs> when you look at her before mm. you went, Yeah, you, I remember I remember when I came to when I came to Munede. Yes. Uh, when you told me this story, I saw how she was looking. I was, I was down. I was really very, very, very down, you know. Uh, but today I see that Joy is, <laughs> Joy is better looking. Um, first of all, I want to thank you and thank your wife. I want to really, really thank your wife all right. because um, uh, your wife uh, is not your power, you know. Your wife has uh, supported you to be strong enough to carry on this responsibility. I can't tell you how right. God made us meet. You understand? The whole moon need a lot of people applied yes. into it. You can't be saying that Chukwe Ku name nice, them nice. pick. And when they pick them, Nami, they personally go pay for their skill acquisition yeah. agreement fee. So I came to your house at Munedi where I met Chukwe Ku and I met uh, Joy. Joy. I want to thank you very, very much. It's a very pathetic story. In case uh, people don't understand this story very well, now we think we need to make it clearer so that people understand. Right now, the father of Joy is in remind, facing court trials. Yes. Right now, and Chukweku and Joy, their mom, is late. And as it is, uh, Pastor Kim is their father and their mother right now, taking care of their education feeding, well-being, and health, everything. Just making sure everything is fine for them. Ch uh, Pazong Kim has no relationship with Chukwe Kuz and Joy's father or mother. Somebody introduced these two children to him in the church. It happened that he only took them because of the level and the standard of life they were living with their parents. So it was, he was not aware that this joy here was HIV positive. So out of ignorance, you took, ignorance of that aspect, yeah. you took them. Yeah. And when you now took them, you now started finding out that she has been having health deterioration uh, system all the time, you know. You know, it was falling down. So your wife helped and found out what was going on. I want to ask a question. Did the father confess to that act? Yes, he, he the did. father. Yes, when we we took the father to the Asaba, commissioner of police asked him the question. He even wrote his own statement that <laughs> that he was the one doing it. Yes. Okay. So as it is now, even the father is also HIV positive. That's what it is. Yes. Sir. Um, how long have they been with you now? Yeah, roughly a year plus now. A year plus. Okay. I want to beg you and your your wonderful wife not to stop taking care of these two kids. Uh, thank God you are a pastor. You know the reason why God allowed these things to happen. And I can't... The excitement of seeing Joy looking good like this is something else, honestly. I wish I had the picture. I think we had... We took a picture now when yeah, we, we came that a, time now. Yeah, we took a yeah, picture. We took yeah. a picture. <laughs> and uh, Chukweku, and I found out that you have been going with your skill acquisition. It's still going on, right? Yeah. So... I'm doing this program to appeal to my fans across the world. There are so many things we see in life. So many things. And uh, because we are Africans, you get everything to happen to somebody, you go just catch somebody in which. But naturally, you find out that it's our own mental issue. You know, a father that has two kids, you lost your wife. I think there is that determination to take off your two children. Instead, you try to defile your own daughter, you know, and not just defiling your daughter, putting her in a very bad health condition. As I speak to you, this 13 years old beautiful girl, Joy, is HIV positive. So what I want, what I have asked Pastor and came to do so that my friends, my fans could show love. My fans and my friends, they've never disappointed me. They've always showed love. That is our dream, you know. So... I have asked and came to open an account in the children's name. And this account will be posted on the screen in the children's name. 
he will manage account for them. Where we will put in money. Where I'll beg all of you to put in money. So that pastor can have the ability financially to take off these two wonderful children. Let's get her medications. Let's hope she's going to be good. No yes, shaking about that. And also take off um, Chukweku, who is also learning skills. And take off himself too, because it's not easy with your wife and your baby. But first, I, I think I'm going to uh, drop money in the account so that um, I will call the shots. There is this, my friend, he wants to support my one day of program. And he had wanted me to go to the streets to show love. Or rather, I will put the money into the account to start this work of God. This is work of God, honestly. You know, to start this work of God. And I'm very sh- sure that in Kim, Ogechuku Sylvester will be so happy for this. He's a wonderful friend of mine. He's from Ural Lubo. He's based in Philippines. Thank you, Nkem Ogechuku. He sent 100,000. I'm going to transfer the 100,000 to the bank account of these kids to start this uh, contribution. And I hope the whole world will show love to this, my wonderful friend. Thank you, Nkem. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, thank, thank you. Give, thank give me a hug. <laughs> so we're going to start from that and I'll be managing how my friends will be contributing so I'll be transferring 100,000 right here right now to that account first you have the account right? yes okay let's go from there let's go from there let's, let's do that right away so many women will not be happy frowning or even might not allow it to happen that the husband will bring in children that are not hers and that even on the extra has health com- complications, you know. So that's why I'm really appreciating the beautiful woman. Thank you so much. You. I'll always keep in touch with you, Mama. Honestly, honestly. So we are going to open the account with a hundred thousand naira. Okay, I'll send you the receipt of the slip. Receipt of the slip. So it has come, right? Okay. So we have hundred thousand naira in the account right now. This is a challenge, a beautiful challenge this time around. This will not be a challenge to buy shoe or to buy moto. It's a challenge to give uh, Chukweku and Joy the best with the support of Pastor and Kim. Better life, honestly. Uh, Chukweku, the only thing you owe me is to learn this thing called Thailand. Learn it very, very well. We will buy the machine when you go to start. We will school not the late. Get skill first because of the situation where you find yourself right now. Once you get skill, school can come. Okay? No. No. Always be good children, okay? Thank you, sir. Don't worry, we'll go buy you Christmas clothes. I'll give you five. Pastor, thank you so much. I want to appreciate you so much. God will bless you. God will bless you. Mama, thank you so much. Eh? You have three kids? Are you serious? <laughs> Please, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You see, you see, uh, Pason Kim's wife, uh, Pason Kim's wife, that I've been saying thank you, thank you to her for the beautiful care she has given these kids. She has three kids, and look at the way she's looking. Oh, Ooh, you, you studied from college, yeah? Chemistry education. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's good. Please, I want to beg you, don't relent, eh? Show the love you are showing. All right, guys. The account number is on the screen. I want to use this uh, medium to thank Nkem uh, Okechuku Sylvester Donke. He's from Oreo Lubo and is based in Philippines. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I'm sure this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be very emotional for you too. And I want you all to keep showing love to one day of see the account number of these children and please show me the love. I show them the love you have always shown me. Thank you so much. Thank you. One day, thank you.